Today, we are talking about recording. You can now use your personal computer to record directly into voice queue. The steps for an actor using this application make it easy to simulate what you're used to in a studio environment. First, open voice queue. A studio would have sent you a project to work on, or you can try out the recording yourself using the demo project we include in every installer for our applications. Once you've selected your project, we want to go ahead and set up our media window. You can open the media window in the lower right hand corner of the main window. Once here you can change the font, scale and size of all visual elements. This will allow you to set it to your preference and make it easier for you to read and follow. Along the lower right hand corner, there are also other visual features you can take advantage of when using the media window, such as preview text, timecode, ruler, waveform, digital rhythm band, line progress, beeps, and streamers, as well as a mute button and the media window selection button. For this example, we will use the single beep selection. Press the beep selection icon until a one symbol appears. This will set our beep to activate on a single line only. Next, head to the character pane and filter your chosen character from the list. For this example, we will record a line from Howard. Once selected, you will see only Howard's lines in the script view. Select the first line, now go to Window, Local Recording. On your first selection, it will prompt you to allow recording inside voice queue. This is for security. Just accept and continue. You will now see the recording window in view. We have set up defaults for actors to use, so you just need to select the appropriate input microphone and then set your levels to your preferred volume. Once you are happy with your selection, we can press line record. This will record the selected line like so. Once you have recorded the line, you can now see your first take in the list. You can listen to your recorded take by selecting playback. If you are unhappy with the take, you have the option to delete. And you can also record as many times as you please until you are satisfied. For this example, we will use constant record. This record will take as long as the user wishes. It can be multiple lines long, but keep in mind it will count as a take for the currently selected line only. Once you are happy with the take, just select the checkbox. This will confirm the recording is correct and prepare it for an export. To export the files, select the line and choose Export AAF. This will create a timed AAF for engineers to use in any supported DAW. Select the folder you wish to save the file and save. VoiceQ will export the AAF file with the audio files embedded. You may also export the files in a zip format to share as well. Once it is exported, simply send the AAF or a zip file using a secure file sharing platform that your client has approved. This concludes our tutorial for recording in VoiceQ. For more information, head to our website and select support. There you can find a large range of support videos and documentation.